Which of the following metals follows logarithmic oxidation law? A. Aluminum B. Copper C. Iron D. Aluminum copper and iron The correct answer is Aluminum copper and iron Diffusion controlled oxidation can be minimized by decreasing the concentration of ionic defects in the scale. A. False B. True C. D. The correct answer is True Which of the following is are true regarding parabolic oxidation rate law? A. It was proposed by C. Wagner B. It states that square of weight loss is directly proportional to the time of exposure. C. It was proposed by C. Wagner which states that square of weight loss is directly proportional to the time of exposure and it resembles non-steady state diffusion controlled reactions. D. It resembles non-steady state diffusion controlled reactions. The correct answer is it was proposed by C. Wagner which states that square of weight loss is directly proportional to the time of exposure and it resembles non-steady state diffusion controlled reactions. What are the types of oxidation rate laws? A. Linear and parabolic law B. Cubic and logarithmic law C. Linear parabolic and cubic law D. Linear parabolic cubic and logarithmic law the correct answer is Linear parabolic cubic and logarithmic law Which of the following oxidation rate law is depicted as x in the given figure? A. Linear law B. Parabolic law C. Cubic law D. Parabolic law The correct answer is Linear law Which of the following oxidation rate law is depicted as z in the given figure? A. Linear law B. Parabolic law C. Cubic law D. Parabolic law The correct answer is Cubic law Which of the following metal does D follow linear oxidation law? A. Sodium B. Aluminum C. Niobium D. Potassium The correct answer is Aluminum in general all oxides are non-stoichiometric in nature their composition varies from an ideal molecular formula. A. True. B. False. C. D. The correct answer is. True. Which of the following is are correct regarding linear oxidation law? A. Weight gain per unit area of the metal is directly proportional to the exposure time. B. It is a characteristic of porous or cracked scale. C. Sodium is an example that follows linear oxidation law. D. Weight gain per unit area of metal is directly proportional to exposure time. It is characteristic of porous or cracked scale and sodium follows linear oxidation law. The correct answer is. Weight gain per unit area of metal is directly proportional to exposure time. It is characteristic of porous or cracked scale and sodium follows linear oxidation law. Which of the following is are correct regarding the measurement of the rate of oxidation? A. Weight loss per unit area of metal is the measure of the rate of oxidation. B. Either weight loss or weight gain per unit area of metal is the measure of the rate of oxidation. C. Weight gain per unit area of metal is the measure of the rate of oxidation. D. Neither weight loss nor weight gain per unit area of metals is the measure of the rate of oxidation. The correct answer is. Weight gain per unit area of metal is the measure of the rate of oxidation.